Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new Team of the Week Dak Prescott powered up. You guys are new, I was going to bring you guys Dak Prescott gameplay. Uh, also we do have Kems on him and Sprinter, that's why his overall is blue and he's a 91 overall because he went up in overall. Now for today's gameplay, it's going to be different than any gameplay I've ever done before. And the reason it's going to be different is because I was really debating, I even asked you guys over on Twitter what I should do. The new patch just came out, right? With the current patch in the game, guys, uh, catching wide open passes is actually hard to do. That sounds ridiculous, but yeah, they broke catching. So what you really want to do is add on, when it comes to abilities for your quarterbacks, you want to add on Gift Wrapped. Now, this gives you a higher chance to complete passes to uncovered targets, which sounds like a ridiculous ability to put on, but that's literally what you need to do. Now, I actually only ended up doing the one gameplay, and you guys will see why. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Curtis Hannon for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout-out in the next video, drop a like on the bit. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. Now, guys, I probably will be dropping another video later today, going over the veterans that are going to be coming out tomorrow, or at least going over the veterans promo, maybe what we expect. Uh, we do know that veterans are coming out tomorrow for Wild Card Wednesday. We don't know what players or whatever yet, so probably expect a video from me, maybe around like 8.30. Maybe. Depends on what EA decides to reveal the cards. We'll see. Uh, but with the new patch, catching is very, very hard. So what I'm going to be doing today, the first gameplay, I'm doing two gameplays in this video. So please drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys have been showing crazy support today. Would greatly appreciate that. We are going to do a gameplay without gift wrapped because I want to showcase how bad it is right now to catch wide open passes. Now the issue is, you guys can see I'm currently using three abilities, right? Roaming Dead Eye, Quick Draw, and Long Range Dead Eye. These are the abilities that I like to run on my Lamar Jackson. Well, gift wrapped is 2 AP. So unless I want to change my entire team around, I'm only going to be able to go ahead and use two abilities on Dak Prescott. So in the first game player, we're going to be talking about roaming, quick draw, and long range dead eye. And as for the second gameplay, guys, by the way, he doesn't have A2 speed, doesn't get escape artist. Uh, we are going to be going ahead and throwing on uh, gift wrapped and then we'll just use quick draw i feel like that's probably the most important one faster throwing animations under pressure now if we take a look at his stats he does have 82 speed because of sprinter that doesn't affect abilities why he doesn't get escape artist but he has 90 throw power also has 90 deep 88 medium and 91 throw short by the way guys 90 throw deep is the threshold to avoid inaccurate passes so that's really good it's 80 85 and 90 so it's all the throwing thresholds with 82 speed 88 throw under pressure 90 throw on the run and 86 play action Action, and he also does have an 82 change of direction uh, 89 break sack i'm pretty excited let's give him the gameplay looking to take your game in madden 21 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes for madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league all right so that is gonna be my opponent's top three you can see he has lamar jackson also has honey badger and byron jones my top three so my opponent has got the 89 Lamar Jackson, but it's not powered up. So I'm very curious to see just how many uh, drop passes there are in this gameplay. Because obviously when you don't have Lamar Jackson powered up, you can't change the abilities he has on him. So I know for a fact that he is not going to have a gift wrapped on him. As we might get a sack and we do from Lawrence Taylor. And of course, Saquon Barkley of all people recovered the fumble. Now remember guys, I don't have gift wrapped on this game. So if you see any drop passes, then that's why. Why Tyreek Hill, good catch. Now, one thing I am very curious to see is just how well does 82 speed actually work behind the line of scrimmage compared to like the Lamar Jackson card that I've been using literally all year. I really, really want to see just how this works out, but I might go deep. Looks like he's actually sending a blitz at me. We do have someone open. We have Reggie Wayne wide open. If he would have dropped that, I would have thrown my controller. All right, so, so far, no drops just yet, which is great to see, and also a really, really good deep throw there by Dak Prescott. I'm gonna watch out for this running back route. We may get some more pressure, and that's gonna be incomplete. Let's see who my opponent's gonna go to here. Looks like, once again, he is passing the ball, and again, no drop so far. I don't know why, but I feel like from the way that I've been seeing people talk about it on Twitter, I'm just expecting like every pass to be incomplete. I'm not exactly sure why is that should be an interception for me with Isaiah Simmons. That was a crazy, crazy lurk right there. Did I just mess that up big time? We're not going to talk about it. 
Yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna talk about Rod Woodson. Just, just go down. Yeah, by the way, I actually did mean to lateral that. It's just no one came back and actually caught the lateral there. So kind of unfortunate for me, but might be looking to... Oh, we have B wide open. Mark Clayton. Okay, no drop there. Good to see. Dil nice little juke to the outside. Picking up a gain of 11. So, so far, so good. But I just feel like it's going to come back and get me when I'm least expecting it. I'm going to end up dropping one of these passes here. Back to the end zone. Throwing it right at his user. And Reggie Wayne comes down with the TD. So, we threw it at his user there. And he was just a little bit behind the actual route to make a play on it. So... We have a nice little TD there to Reggie Wendy's. He's going to take off here with Lamar Jackson. He's definitely going to pick up at least 20, and that's going to be a fumble. I feel really bad because I know my opponent definitely meant to slide down there, but Rod Woodson on the fumble. I'm going to go down, and I definitely could have scored a touchdown there, but I want to throw another one here with Dak, so let's see if we can get someone open. Looks like we have got X wide open. Mark Clayton, good catch. Third down and three coming up now. Now let's see if maybe we can take a shot to the end zone. Actually, no. Mark Clayton once again is open, and again, another good catch. I kind of want to scramble for a touchdown here. I'm not sure why, but I want to run with him with Dak Prescott, which I don't have any read options or anything in my playbook, which is kind of disappointing, but we do have Finley back of the end zone, wide open for a TD. All right, defense. Let's see if we can get another stop out here. Already 21-0. And, I mean, we've both thrown the ball a decent amount of times. And so far, no drop passes. So he is down to about the 50-yard line. And I actually thought that was a run. That's a good play action there. He does have someone wide open. John U. Smith again. Good catch. All right, second down here. Two minutes left. I'm watching out for Mark Clayton. And he's going to go to the flats here. And that one, I think, was kind of a play by Tyron Matthew. This could be a turnover right here. Get some pressure on him. And that's going to be a throw at a sack. Sam Mills with the interception. I could probably lateral this one back and score a TD. But we're going to go down to 49. I do like that my opponent is not quitting out of this game. Even being down 21-0. Because a lot of times when I try to do game plays, people quit out very, very quickly. So I really, really enjoy that he's actually staying in this game. But let's see if we can get B open. I, I don't think he's going to be. We can probably fit that into X though, right? Tyreek Hill across middle field. Good catch, Tyreek. Swerve back to the outside all the way down to 13. All right, I'm going to look for Reggie Wayne potentially across the middle of the field. Looks like he's probably not going to be open. I'm just going to try and reroute Barry Sanders so we can fit it into him. And we bounce it off his head. Okay, so there was our first, I guess, drop pass. It just bounced off his head there, so kind of disappointing there. Tyreek Hill, though, back in the end zone, and that was just a bad read, honestly. I didn't really realize that Asante Samuel had inside uh, coverage there, so that's going to be very unfortunate. Someone please tackle him. Asante down to the 39. I thought it was man coverage there, which I'm pretty sure it was. All I know is that I really just looked towards uh, Tyreek Hill there, and I saw that the cornerback was just going up with him. Rod, don't get burnt! Wow. Well, we were in position there to make this game potentially 28 to nothing. And just like that, it is now 21 to 7. That just shows you how quickly games can actually change. But we're going to be looking to potentially go to Reggie Wayne down the field. Actually, Tyreek Hill was open across the middle and he just dropped that. I'm pretty sure the cornerback didn't make a play on that ball. I am almost positive that was just straight up a drop pass right there. But I'm going to take off with Dak Prescott. We do have some room. Let's see if we can make some guy miss Dak. Picking up a gain of eight or so, nine. So we might either get someone open deep or we may get Reggie on the corner, which it looks like Reggie on the corner. Great catch. So unfortunately, my opponent did hold me here. And with seven seconds left, I could call Hail Mary. But if he ends up getting like a sack on me or something, then he would have a decent amount of time left to actually just like take a field goal. So I'm going to punt the ball here end of the first half all right so starting on the second half we do get the ball here but unfortunately I already took a sack on first down so not good but we might be able to dime that one into an interception absolute dime i basically stared down that corner route the entire play and that was exactly where i knew i was gonna go so that's two bad reads by me the entire game and those two bad reads unfortunately both resulted and interceptions for my opponent as gonna hit Tyree Kill there, good corner. So just like that, we are already choking this game away, being up by 14, but he's now in the red zone or down to the 20 yard line as John O. Smith is gonna catch that. We badly need my defense to get a stop here. I actually just ran commit and we ran commit, didn't work. But we had a commanding lead in this game and now we are choking it away, 21 to 14. Barry Sanders though, out of the flats here, picking 
picking up that first down. Now, I want to say we've had two drop passes so far from what I've counted. You know, we did have that one play where I'm pretty sure it was the wide receiver and not the cornerback making the play, and then the other player where we hit Barry in the head. But I really haven't seen, like, a blatant, like, wide-open receiver just, like, by 20 yards drop a pass so far as Tyreek here. Good catch. So we're already in field goal range. I believe we can make a 55-yarder as I might be... Ah, oh, crap. I, I should have thrown a Barry Sanders there, but we escape here with Dak Prescott. Dak showing off that 82 speed. All right, Dak showing off the wheels a little bit. I love to see that. Third down and three, though. Let's see... Are we going to get Reggie Wayne open deep? I want to take a deep shot so bad, but Reggie's just not open. Tyreek Hill, though, is wide open, and that's a great catch. All right, I'm going to put Reggie on a corner route here because I feel like he may get open. Oh, no, we did. Okay, I'm okay, well, there's a drop for Zeke. So unfortunately, I think that we actually did have Reggie Wayne open there on that, but I tried to go back to it in the last play. You guys didn't see it because it just, it didn't work out too well. <laughs> we will say that, but unfortunately here, we get sacked. We're going to take our three. Now we have had, I think, three total drop passes so far. None of them have really been like super crazy. Most of them have been with a defender nearby, but still, I mean, it would have been a catch and at least picked up a couple of yards as Tyree Gill here on the kick return. But I actually am kind of surprised to see my opponent doesn't have a single drop pass just just yet from the way that I've been hearing about it over on Twitter and everything it really does seem like it's happening very very frequently which for me it's happened three times oh there we go LT with the sack all right so fourth and 16 coming up guys this could potentially be the game right here if my opponent does not pick this up I'm gonna watch out over the middle because that crosser is not gonna beat me we get a swat there from LT so I could just continue to run the ball here and definitely end this game out but you guys already know that is not how I roll wouldn't be looking for Reggie Wayne down the field Reggie good catch now this is where I'm kind of struggling to actually punch this into the end zone is down on like the one yard line when I'm trying to get a quarterback game play it's kind of tough because I would usually just run the ball right here you guys can see he's literally got three quarterback spies set up do you guys see this this, this man has got three QB spies set up I'm looking to throw a dot or to just take off but it really looks like we're about to get sacked he had three QB spies I cannot believe that defense actually worked for my opponent that is pretty insane but once again second and goal I'm gonna throw a little curl route here to Finley Quarterback spies won't help that. So fourth down coming up. There's only 37 seconds left here. And you have to imagine my opponent's probably going to try to go deep. So let's see if we can stop this across the middle. Rod Woodson, easy INT. So guys, that is going to be it for the Dak Prescott gameplay. Now, I know I said I was going to do two gameplays in here, but we actually got like a full game in and my opponent didn't drop the ball one time. Now, I will let you guys know that I actually have been playing a couple games after that game that you guys just saw. My opponents haven't dropped the ball one time, so I don't really feel like it's necessary to do a gift wrap gameplay because I was kind of hoping to see like in-game differences between me using gift wrapped and then my opponents not having it on. They haven't dropped the ball one time, and I played like two extra games aside from the one you guys just saw. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.